Hello loves, it is the month of spring cleaning and one of the areas I try to keep deodorized and smelling fresh is my bathroom. To help with in-between cleaning, I DIY my own toilet bombs. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this very popular DIY made from citric acid, baking soda, and essential oils. This homemade cleanser kills bacteria and deodorizes for pennies. This is a very easy DIY made from natural ingredients that I will share with you. So let's get started. Here is what you need. For exact measurements to the toilet bombs, visit my Facebook page, Breeze Project Book Group. All the measurements will be listed there. Citric acid, normally present in lemons and other sour fruit, is available in powder form at your local Walmart or grocery store in the canning section. It kills bacteria, mold, and mildew, and it also removes soap scum. This would give our toilet bombs the fizzy action. Now, all of us are familiar with baking soda. It removes odors and cleanses. Many of you use it in your refrigerator to deodorize. Baking soda has many, many uses and is very gentle. Essential oils, all of us have our favorites, but these three oils are my faves for toilet bombs. It gets rid of odor beautifully. Bergamot, grapefruit, and lavender. But of course, use what you like. The next item is optional. Color dyes to add color to your toilet bombs. Then you will need water in a spray bottle. And lastly, some sort of tray to mold your toilet bombs. Either ice cube tray or candy mold. Use a silicone base. If you don't have a silicone base, a regular tray of plastic will do. It's just a silicone base, the mold will come out easier. In a bowl, add your citric acid and baking soda. Take a fork, a pastry cutter, or some type of whisk and stir together these items. Now you need your spray bottle with the water. At this stage, you don't have to add your essential oils or your color dyes. If you don't want color dyes or essential oil, just use the spray bottle with the water. Now this next step is when things get a little tricky. What you're trying to do is you're trying to wet your mixture here without it fizzing. So you're going to gradually add your water mixture to your baking soda and citric acid. Once the mixture gets to a consistency of wet sand, it should be able to hold together nicely. Now you don't need a, a ice tray or whatever. You can, you can do it with your hands and make these little round balls. Have a size that you want and there you go. Or you can use a meatballer. Just gather it up as much as you can. There, see now it's, it's full. Let your toilet bombs dry from four hours or best overnight and they get nice and firm. And then you can watch it work. For more tips and ideas for spring cleaning, visit my playlist linked in the iCard above. Also, visit my Facebook group to catch a sneak preview of upcoming videos, tips, and ideas. See you on the next video and stay inspired. Smooches!